Olio's CEO confirms Meg stirs Michelle up with chicken tacos as First Lady couldn't eat under treatment. Today's posts about the First Lady botherer made me realise I'd never read Meghan Markle's guest-edited British Vogue September issue from 2019. I've now reviewed the guest-editor letter, and as usual, it's a creative writing 101 masterpiece. A few of the many lines that bothered me. My asking him to support an organisation I strongly believe in called Smart Works, she constantly places the emphasis on herself in a sentence. In this case, her strong belief is the focus while the name of the organisation is the footnote. She does this pathologically and it's throughout the letter. I know how important the September issue is, etc, etc, building up to a good old humble brag. EE's reply, yes, and there it is. By the way, please note that Meghan Markle and EE are our best friends. Tessa Clark, co-founder of food sharing app Olio, who I met with discreetly last year because, privacy, a candid and heartfelt conversation between myself and the extraordinary Michelle Obama, i.e. an email. Megan lied that she met Michelle in person and had a small interview while eating chicken tacos. Megan wrote, Over a casual lunch of chicken tacos and my ever burgeoning bump, I asked Michelle if she'd help me with this secret project. She then revealed that their exchange took place over email. It was mostly about motherhood, which Michelle said she was excited for Megan to experience. But the head of Olio accidentally revealed the truth is not so. The Duchess spent the whole day talking to her, so the meeting with Michelle never happened. Moreover, Michelle once claimed she was losing weight during that time and only ate vegetarian food. So, suggesting Megan's chicken tacos is completely unreasonable. Why is she discreetly having to meet with the founder of a food app named Olio? It's because she was getting paid by Olio to merch them. Also, why was she disrespectful enough to the Vogue team to go out of her way to apologise for the advertisements because they come with the territory? While merching an app in the editor letter, she is truly princess pushy. How in the hell do you do anything that you call discreet when you're writing about it in a magazine? Lol. Stop looking at us, we want privacy. We're supposed to be left with the impression that Meg spends her free time discreetly meeting with all these very important people, doing very important stuff. Like she was just having chicken tacos with Michelle Obama. That's a typical afternoon for her. And then she was discreetly meeting with this Olio person. She's ever so busy and important, more than us plebs could ever imagine. The interesting thing is that it was the start of Olio's quest for venture capital, so this couldn't have hurt. By 2021, they'd made $53 million in venture capital from an app with no real way to support itself other than venture capital. Then Harry got hooked in with BetterUp, I'm guessing on the strength of saying, look what happened to Olio after Megan mentioned them in Vogue. Imagine what you get when you hire Harry as a chimpo. Megan always had a plan. Her guest editing Vogue and giving a shout out to Olio was part of their pitch to Netflix and Spotify to say, look at the power we have. So of course Olio didn't get markled. It was their freebie to use to grift in the long con.